they're common but rare <laughs> so bam you die you got one death you return to the inn you go back die again sup guys it's 10 kosh and this is another dungeon tips for the new players and i advise you to watch this video before you actually start the game so you will avoid mistakes that can cost you quite a lot that i did so i did it so you won't have to do that let's go all right so first let's go over the main issues that you might do to yourself and uh, that will cost you quite a lot first of all the upgrade mechanics if you upgrade your weapon higher than level three um there is a chance that it will break and I strongly don't advise you guys to do that if you, that's the last weapon or gear piece that you have. Otherwise, that slot will be empty. And I played without a weapon because of that fall maybe like five hours. So my attack power was way lower and that really cost me a lot of progression. So don't do that. You will progress faster without that. If you want to upgrade your gear, for example, we can upgrade pants right now. Since we got pants on ourselves and we got two copies of those trousers over there. If you want to upgrade them, upgrade both pieces. Like, you have something equipped plus 3, you got something in inventory 0. So make it plus 3 if you got enough materials, obviously. I don't anymore. Okay, my upgrade materials are over. Upgrade them to plus 3, then by plus 1 each time for different things. And the one will, that will break will disappear and you will still have one extra on your hands as equipment so you won't be naked and that will help you out quite a lot moreover you might wait with upgrades a little bit before you get to the area where you will get the green drops because well you can get those two plus three easily that's cheap and that doesn't cost you that much but afterwards i think it doesn't work because you can spend a lot of upgrade materials and they are pretty hard to get so upgrade stones will be pretty they're they're common but rare <laughs> so yeah you don't want to spend them for something that you don't need another useful tip for you for the long-term progression is that you can automate your progression offline without even being next to the pc in order to do that you will need to download the ld player the link will be in the video description and that's an android emulator you will sign in over there like i did over here this is the pc version over here and uh as you know, you won't be able to go to the next area or finish the quest, so you will have to click this thing all the time, right? You can create a macro over here. Start recording, click here, click somewhere else, click somewhere else, click here, click somewhere else, so, you know, the game will keep running. And uh, stop recording. Where is the button? Stop recording over here. Now you can make this up. No, don't delete it. Now you can make this script a loop forever and at like 0.1 speed so it will be slow save it run it and now take a look at this it will automatically click on the quest it will automatically click off and you will be able to progress like if you leave the game overnight you will finish a lot of those tasks here and that goes for chats for everything so that would be really really nice i think because that will allow you to get more rewards so that's my tip for you special thing now outside of wasting resources uh, for the upgrades you can actually put stuff in the decks and yeah if you put stuff in the decks it will disappear so when you register something over here it will be gone from your inventory forever so make sure to put there something that you don't need only because otherwise yeah once again you will have issues so yeah let's put this those boots over here because why the hell not it's okay but what's interesting though bam it will be perished it's gone uh what's interesting that if you put boots over here they don't register over here for example for each of those you will have to put separate items and that's that's costly so go for something that you need and my advice would be going for attack first because the higher your attack is the faster you will farm so yeah try to do that and yes there are things here that will require you to upgrade your gear to plus five for example or maybe to plus eight for example this is a really good bonus by the way but i think you can get it only as a like if you upgrade your main gear to plus eight and then you move up to the higher tier gear that will be the best way to do this because plus eight is hard to get i mean your stuff will break a lot so yeah uh don't rush it too much the bonuses are nice but don't rush it too much as for the newer players which we are for the season pass leave one of those special items for yourself i have that equipped 
And that's actually giving me one extra damage, so why the hell not? I can even upgrade it a little bit, because it will last until like two or three months. So un unless I'll get better earring, because Dex ex exclusive gear is crap usually, but we don't have other earring, that will work for you and give you pretty good bonuses. Same goes with the medal. Like it's giving you nice bonuses and you can get it pretty easily and pretty fast by finishing the season pass. Because that thing will give you crazy bonuses. Now another tip for the player that you might miss early game that you would like to go to the shop to the free area and get all the, those free things here for sure. Like watching ads here is fast and the rewards are really nice. So get them, they will help you out. You can even exchange for something like pet, avatar and that kind of stuff. It's not that costly as well because you will make that money back but be be careful don't overspend over here because you will need the gold for skills anyway so like getting free stuff is more important than getting stuff here as for your skills you can get the third skill really fast it costs only 1.5 million gold and you should get it as soon as possible and equip it so it will be here with you and will allow you to do more damage to the enemies kill them faster basically and your mana doesn't go down that fast anyway so it's a good deal don't be worried about that go for it and you can upgrade it as well because that will give you a bit more dps right here so yeah uh same goes for other skills as soon as you will be able to get it this skill is really good, like Tornado, Chasing, Attack 6 times, so it's a really good powerful skill right here as well, but costly, and costs quite a lot of mana already, so yeah. Another thing that you would like to get pet as soon as possible, because you will need pet in order to get the Gathering going, and Gathering will give you a lot of those resources that you can sell later or use them for crafting, so that's a nice thing. Uh, how you can get it out of those chests that you get, so we got... Uh, 10 of those rune chests, 2 avatar chests, 2 pet chests, and uh, 1 luminous rune chest. Well, 10 of those actually. So you can get those, no problem. Let's use one. I want to use one right now for you. Another one will go for different guide, I think. Um, and yeah, you can get one or another pet, and actually you should equip the best one. So like our first Rashid pet is giving us 3% XP bonus and 150 maximum potions and 3 defense, while the second one will give us critical damage amplification. So let's get this one in. It is giving us higher XP bonus, so we will get levels faster. And the higher you go, the more bonuses you will get, the higher tier guys are even better, and the top tier guys, well, if you're lucky, will be even better, so it's nice. Moreover, don't forget about the decks. That will allow you to get the stuff over here and here you don't really need to sacrifice the pet you just need to unlock them and you will get the bonuses so this one is easier than the one with the gear next tip will be for crafting in the crafting well mostly you will have everything that you can craft at the top but important thing guys you can craft avatars here and i haven't noticed it until late so you can farm enough of those tough leather we got 519 just half of what we need for this avatar but if you get enough of that that will allow you to actually get the new avatar, which is way stronger than your main basic avatars that you get. So unless you get something more powerful than those from the boxes of avatars, you can craft this, you can craft this one as well. So there are a lot of things that you can get. And obviously they're stronger than your main thing. So if you want that, you can select the stage to farm, change the stage, go for somewhere where you get a lot of those drops, gathering, yes, yeah, tough leather. So... If tough leather is being dropped, you can go there and, and, and get it and like craft yourself a new avatar. Why the hell not? Just farm away using the LD player and you will be good. Now for the season pass. Sometimes you will... Oh, nice. We progressed it quite a lot. You might want to progress a bit more of it. And there are some missions that are pretty easy to complete. Like death, five times, death, ten times. Those are easy. Everything else is kind of obvious as well. But this one requires you to die and you really don't die early that much. So yeah, another one is defeat players. That's unavailable until later when you get to the area where you can do PvP. But early on... In order to die, you can select the area to silent ruins, for example, when there are powerful enemies. And uh, don't forget to change your potions to the weak ones. That way... Oh, we are running out of potions anyway. That way you don't have to run out of your potions. Go over here, fight someone, and they're like, what the hell are you doing here? And take you out really fast. So, bam, you die. You got one death. You return to the inn. You go back, die again and go over and over like that, that will allow you to get that reward way easier. After that, you can go to the area that you used to be in anyway. 
One more thing, don't forget to buy yourself health potions. They are essential for your progression because without them, you will pretty much die outside. So yeah, either go to the lower area if you're going overnight. It's better to go for the lower tier area where you won't use them up that fast because you should calculate how many of those you use per hour and that should be enough for you, you know, to, to keep going. So this one is good for your quests, for AFK, like multitasking for example if the game is running in the background but if you're going to bed you'd rather leave to the earlier area where you won't die and will be able to farm overnight for example for those skins to get the avatar and in order to get the lower damage taken you might need better gear upgraded to get higher defense so you won't take that much damage yourself and if you need to upgrade something and you don't have enough materials you can buy them for well pretty good amount of gold over here in the misc and use them to do the upgrades. So uh, accessories upgrade, for example, that we need will cost 30,000 money and it will save up our uh, resource cost. So we will get some of them, of course, why not? That made our belt better and that will give us plus four extra damage instead of plus one. So that means that we take out enemies faster now, we do more damage and all that stuff. So always nice stuff to have more damage, that more, that's more killing basically and faster farming. So yeah guys, even as a free-to-play player, I managed to get to 235 rank right now and I'm gonna make beginner's guide, actual full guide, more thorough that will be more advanced and there I will open all the box that will probably give me way better runes and everything. For the runes, there is no beginner mistakes you can do. Just go for the attack ones, basically. So the more damage, faster killing, right? So go for the ones that gives you extra damage and that will be good for you. Try to get as many as possible. Pretty simple. Combination is for the late games or early game. You don't want to do that anyway. And yeah, guys, let me know if you got extra tips for the new players and mistakes that they don't want to make in this game uh, so they can read them in the comments because I probably missed something over here. And while you go in there, please uh, write what you think about this guide if you don't have any tips. That will be appreciated as well. I read all the comments and that will help to promote the YouTube algorithm, the video in it, basically. <laughs> and likes for the video and subscribes will help as well. You can also check out the video description for the playlist on this game and my other youtube channel social media discord and other stuff over there ld player i really recommend it strongly really good stuff look at that it's right automatically really nice and uh yeah other than that thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stand kosh out have a good one bye